Hi friends, it's Amber. I'm coming to you on a beautiful, sunny, gorgeous spring light -like day in Western Pennsylvania um, from my garden shed. So we are doing some work outside and um, just getting ready for the spring. If you can hear, you might, I'm wondering if you can hear that noise in the background. Maybe I should shut the door. One second here. My husband is um, building our greenhouse. We're putting up a small greenhouse so that I can have a better place to start the seeds. I usually start our seeds in the basement with grow lights, but um, this year we are we have some materials that we're using and we have to buy a few things too, but we're getting a greenhouse set up because that'll be a lot more efficient for what we plan for our garden. Um, anyway, I, I wanted to get on here and just do a real quick video and say hello. Um, I have had a lot of people commenting on my post knitting podcast asking, how are you? Where are you at? Is everything okay? Everything's actually really good. Um, I I kind of dropped off the face of the virtual world back in December. I had decided to get off of social Facebook and Instagram. Um, I really hope that all my windows are shut, so I can't block the noise out anymore. I hope it's not too obnoxious. Anyway, um, I got a fa I deactivated my Facebook and Instagram accounts because I just, they weren't serving a very good purpose in my life anymore. They were causing more anxiety and more negativity in my life than they were good. So I thought, why keep something in my life that does not serve a good purpose? And so it's not that, that everything about it was bad or everything about it was, was negative. It's just that it, the negatives were outweighing the positives. So I wanted to, to I just, thought I'm going to get off until the end of January and reassess. And, um, it's now March 21st, first day of spring. That's my cat scratching. <laughs> so many noises outside. Um, anyway, it's been wonderful. It was such a good decision. I've been so much more present in my life. I have enjoyed, I've been able to just focus in on my life more my real life, my family, my friends. I've gotten back into letter writing, like with pen and paper, which I do, used to do a lot um, as a teenage girl. And, you know, more reading, um, more, just a lot more. Well, because I took the time that I normally would spend um, engaging in social media to, I took that time and I just applied it to things in my life that I, you know, that are right here around me or things that I wanted to get back into doing and hadn't done for a long time. So anyway, that is where, that is what's been going on. Um, I'm well, my family is well. Um, we actually have had a really good winter. It was super snowy, which we, my husband and I really loved, um, because typically here where we live, it's, it fluctuates between, I don't know, it's typically very gloomy and gray. Let me just put it that way. And we don't typically get a lot of snow, at least we haven't for years. So it's a lot of like ucky browns and grays, just, you know. Um, so when we actually get snow, I really enjoy it. And this year we had snow the majority of the winter. So it was like a proper winter, like we used to have when I was a kid. And, um, my husband and I went out for a lot of walks. We even went sled riding, kidless. Our kids didn't want to come out in the cold, but Brad and I went uh, sled riding and we just we had a really good winter. So, but now I'm looking forward to spring and I'm out here. I actually, I saved seeds. Uh, I have some, some jars of seeds that I saved from my gardens last year and um, some bulbs and stuff I have had up here drying. So I still have some dried flowers hanging over there from last year that I never took in the house. Uh, so I need to get this space cleaned up, but that's okay. But I just, I wanted to get on here and just say, we're all doing great. Thank you so much for your comments. I didn't realize that, um, 
I, I guess I, I guess like when I guess, I don't know. Um, when podcasters that I watch have just kind of disappeared, it is, I'm always like, oh, I hope they're okay. And I wasn't really thinking that that would, would be what would happen. So, but so, but I've had enough people reach out to me that I thought, hmm, yeah, maybe I should do a little video. And I've been thinking, should I do another knitting podcast? Um, and I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do that because I'm definitely still knitting. It's just that my life has become much more, um, it's not so knitting focused anymore, which it used to be. And um, especially now going into spring, it's going to be even less so. I've just, I don't know. And I'm, I'm engaging more with friends in real life. And um, yeah, I, it's just been good. It's been good for me personally to be off social media. It's a personal decision. It was a personal decision for me. And it has been a fantastic one for me. And I have not regretted it at all. Sometimes I miss getting on Instagram. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll get back on. But anyway, I just wanted to say hello. I wanted to say thank you for your comments. And we will see what happens. I'm kind of, right now, I've been stacking my knitting projects up on my one shelf. Thinking, well, if I do film a a podcast, I'll have everything there ready to go. I just need to look up the information for the projects. So that is all friends. I hope that, um, you understand why I just stopped. <laughs> and I know I don't owe explanations to anybody, but, um, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's all, that's all I have to say. So have a fantastic com week coming up and it's Sunday here and we have we have gorgeous weather forecasted for this week, so I'm really excited because it means I can be outside doing some stuff that I've been wanting to do, which is what I love. So, all right. Well, everyone, take care. Thank you so much for your comments and for reaching out and checking in on us. I really appreciate it.